Hello agents, Lori Knudsen with your productivity coaching coming uh, to you for some training on just the basic North Star MLS dashboard. And as you can see, here's my dashboard pulled up. It's got my username here. I could log out if I click that. And typically we have a message brought up. I am looking at this on April 17th, 2019, and they are going ahead and um, pushing out some notices for us to look at. And you can either read these as they pop up and you can scroll down and do that and then you can click I've read this or if you want to read it later you can catch it later so I'm going to click I've read this here's a notice about exploring home snap I'm going to read that later and leaving feedback with showing time app I'm going to go ahead and I've read this and uh, then we're down to our screen so just to let you know all of our screens are kind of individually um, designed based on what you want to see on your screen some people use their carts a lot more. I don't tend to use too many in my carts, but um, you can shrink down or shrink up your external links or open them up. And like I said, they could be in a different location. So this is just kind of how I have mine laid out. Uh, if you're new to the North Star MLS, external links are pretty big. And uh, this is where I've got recent visitors to my portals for some searches that I've set up for some buyers and news and alerts are here. My favorite searches are kind of listed in here. So you can get to know your screen a little bit. Your major tabs are across the top here. And we're gonna be talking about this home one, but I'm gonna kind of hover over it and just let you see it. It is very much a duplicate of what is in the external links. If you look over here, when I hover away, here's Instanet, Showing Time, Remind, InfoSparks, Trust Funds, um, RPR, things like that. If you hover over the home button, it will do the same. It will be slightly different order probably, um, but it will be all the same information. There's, there's InfoSparks, RPR, and I'll be putting out video trainings on some of these other ones later. So that's basically to get to your home screen. This is where we're at right here. Um, then there's this search button. And I don't know why that download came in, but here's our search button. Now this is a very important tab and this is where we do most of our realtor searches. This is what we pay for with our North Star MLS. So we are very much using it um, every day as realtors and we'll do a lot within this search, but I'm gonna come back to that. Um, the My Matrix tab is super important. And just for ease, I'm going to let you know that the best button to go in here for now is going to be your My Information. You wanna make sure you fill out your My Information tab completely and notice there's more tabs now. So without getting too prolonged into this, just know that you should go in here if you wanna override anything like say your email, this would be the place to change it. And actually I think I do wanna override mine and I'm gonna put my kw.com. I leave that checked, that overrides what's at the system. You may need to update your office, your email address there, um, so public facing one there or a different email here. It's good to have them both the same. Um, street address of your brokerage, etc. And if you do have a tagline. So go ahead and fill that out completely. Also fill out the header footer. Um, it's sort of, uh, oh, I should have hit save. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, now I'm going to, I bet I, my information didn't save because I didn't actually save it. So let me go back and do that. Sorry about that, folks, but that's us in live video. All right, save. That will be a whole lot better. You get the changes have been saved. So learn from me, okay? Header and footer. So I do tweak out my header. You can upload a custom banner or you can just select from a different banner image within this button. There's going to be, I'm going to go very fast, a host of banners that you're going to be able to choose from. And it kind of shows you what yours looks like as you preview them. All right, I'm just going to leave it on the one that I have, which is down here at the bottom. I have Minneapolis Skyline, and I could have chose from St. Paul Skyline. I'm going to hit cancel and just leave mine at the, Saint, the Minneapolis Skyline. You can also insert your photo. Where do you do that? Right here. Mine would say change photo. Yours will say insert photo. They're giving you the suggestion of this size. Um, go ahead and find one in your computer to bring in there. Make sure it's a professional photo, not your um, maybe one from like casual photo. Make sure it's a good professional photo. Make sure your branding is all um, what you want it to be. These will give you options of what you want to pick. So if I wanted to add my website, I would do that. 
Uh, now I've got it twice because it's already listed there. So perhaps I will list my email. All right. So those are going to be chosen from the uh, first page of options. You can also choose some default colors and such um, or custom colors and then you want to save. Now you can do a header and then a footer as well. Now what are the differences? So where are these used? The header is at the top of every single printout that I print out from the MLS, um, the North Star MLS, and maybe I'm doing a buyer sheet for um, the customer view for a showing that I'm going to do. I'm going to bring that page with all the details on it and send it or um, print it out and, and give it to the buyer at the showing. I usually do that. I, I sometimes print out every page of every home we're looking at. As we get more digital, uh, I don't know that it is going to come into play so much, but for the printouts, that's what it is. Now I also can have a header, I mean, sorry, a footer. So I can simply check, yes, I want a footer, and there it's going to come into play right there. And I've already got all my information in there, just double checking that these are the points I want in there. Doesn't it build it pretty? And I'm, it's based on this. So if I wanted to take out my website, I would maybe just go to blank or something else. Again, I just use default um, colors. So if you want the footer on the printout as well in the future, then you can put that there. So I'm just going to hit save. Um, and then again, on the header, I neglected to say, again, these, I, these points of here are going to end up right in here. And I have my email twice. Do you see that? And there it is twice. So I'm going to take out one. And I'm just going to maybe do my tagline instead. Instead, Helping others is what I do best. So there we go. And I'm going to hit save. So that kind of makes it very nice and branded. So that is your header and footer. CMA cover sheet. This is the information that will land when you do a CMA. So make sure you put your photo in there. And again, your information. Override it with a check mark if you need to change it up. Email signature. Anytime you're emailing out of the North Star MLS you're going to have your email in here. So make sure you're getting all your data. I have a ton of stuff in there. You don't have to have as much if you don't want. It should at least have maybe your name and realtor and the company you work for. If you want to bring in a picture, use that button there to bring in your picture. Your portal profile, when you set people up on auto searches, this is what they're going to see. So make sure you're going through looking at your photo, putting it in there, a portal greeting. So type a little something. Uh, just say welcome, hi there. I think they give you a default one. You can place a video in there if you'd like. Otherwise, make sure your contact info is in there. So yes, you do have to go in here and update all of these. And since I made no changes, there's no reason to save. So I want you to get into my matrix, my information, and tweak every one of these, um, these five tabs out. Finance is going to be if you want to do a seller's estimated net proceeds or a buyer closing costs, which we often make the lender do, right? So I do use the seller estimated proceeds. I'll let you click on that and investigate it. It's, it's kind of a good one. I do like it. Roster is if you want to look up agents in the office or just an, uh, any agent in the area. Realist tax is a very good tool to use when you're trying to get information on a property that maybe has not been listed yet. Um, unfortunately, I don't have that um, flash player ready to go, so I'm going to get to that on a different, that's a whole nother um, lesson, shall we put. So I'll get a training on that together soon. Let me rake a note on that. Realist. And then stats. This is some nice fast stats that you can use on single family uh, homes or multifamily. And you can go in there and play with it. Add edit is when you have a listing and you want to add some additional photos to it or edit something about the photos or add your supplements. You're going to go in there. So I'm going to teach that a different day. We're just showing what these tabs are for right now. 